Every summer and each winter, Jewish youth movements hold a series of camps, or machonot as they are commonly known, throughout the British countryside. Camps and seminars also take place in Europe and in Israel. It is, however, the Machen Akayetz, the Sum Camp, which remains the climax of a movement's annual social, educational and cultural program. Each machane is run on an individual basis, with a camp director being responsible for its organizational and technical details. Camps fall under the collective umbrella of responsibility of the Youth and Hechelutz Department of the World Zionist Organization. Numerous movements operate camp programs. Collectively, they span the complete range of varying degrees of religious observance represented amongst Anglo Jewry. Each camp has an inventive educational theme and takes place in a beautiful location. Most of the Machanot are real pioneering experiences. Apart from those for the youngest age group, they all take place under canvas, often in isolated locations with limited facilities. The common group experience which this entails, the mutual dependency and comradeship that develops, the friendships that are cemented and the education that is gained are unique to the atmosphere of a summer camp in Britain and characterize their success. The range of activities at any camp is wide and original. A central educational theme is determined prior to the camp and most events during the camp are aimed at emphasizing the ideas and practicalities contained within that theme. Few are those who go to a machane one year and are reluctant to return the next. The machane is an exciting experience in independent living where children of all ages and from a variety of backgrounds can make new acquaintances and renew old ones. It is an environment which breeds enjoyment and guarantees education. It is a universal phenomena which unifies Jewish youth and strengthens its identity to its culture and heritage. The machane is a holiday that is different. There are no suites with bathrooms, there are no luxuries, there are no comfortable beds or constantly running hot water. There is hard work and there are tiring demands. Machanot are different, but it's the difference that counts. All of the Mahanot observe strictly kosher catering, but only at those whose ideology is firmly rooted in religious observance are shacharit and other services an integral part of the daily program.
The day is ceremoniously opened with the raising of the flag and a mifkat where announcements are made about the day's activities. These early morning rituals differ widely in their presentation according to the traditionally preferred methods of a particular movement. Another common morning experience is that of Hitamlot Boker, morning exercises. BVYO believe in rising and shining, and at this Bener Kiva camp, aerobics were in vogue. Everyone loves to receive letters, and even if they have difficulty in reading mum's handwriting, the participants at Machanot eagerly await the arrival of the post. Most Machanot will have at least one major coach outing to a place of interest within the vicinity of the camp. With packed lunches and pocket cameras, the army of Jewish youngsters wait to invade the nearby town. Have you got pens, Andy? Have you got pens? Andy! Oh, Andy! Has Fiona got pens? Don't cry! Fiona, there's a microphone on there. Fiona, there's a microphone on there. Jeff, 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 Jeff. On this occasion, Hanar Hatsioni was taking its camp to York in northern England. The elder participants conducted a street survey on local residents and discovered some interesting attitudes towards Jews in the Middle East. Uh, have you ever visited Israel? No. no. Um, how does the size of Israel compare with that of Britain? Uh, oh dear, another good question. It must be bigger. Yes, I'll give you an option for that. Um, is it? What areas of British society have been influenced by Jews? Well, I think it will be harder to say which areas haven't been affected by Jews. Uh, business and commerce have obviously been affected. Academic life has been affected. 
Have you ever visit, visited a synagogue? No. Um, is there a Jewish community in York? I think so, yeah. No, how many families about? How many what, in families York? Yeah. in York, yeah? What, Jewish families? Jewish, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I live with two. <laughs> <laughs> is the PLO, Palestine Liberation Organisation, <laughs> representative of the Palestine people, a terrorist organisation, a government in exile, don't know. It's a legi legitimate revolutionary party for the Palestinian people. Yeah. Now approximately how many Jews there are in Britain? Approximately? Yeah. I should think there'd be 89 million, I should think. In order to have an opportunity to express what they learnt about life on a kibbutz, Part of the educational program at this Habonim Draw Machane enabled the Hanachim to produce their own audiovisual programs. There is always time for recreation, and sports competitions are an exciting challenge to all. Dramatic presentations and simulations demand original thought and creative expression. Here we see an attempt to recreate the cultural aspects of life in Israel. Video me. Wonder where we've got to go, Jerome. I'm totally lost, Jerome. Absolutely lost. No, no, no idea. Sure I need to go. Part of the pioneering experience at camp includes hiking. <laughs> These young participants at a Habonim Draw camp wrote and produced their own playlet on the theme of a Hasidic bar mitzvah as part of a production which depicted numerous aspects of different cultural groups within the Jewish religion. Another epic production was that of this B'nai Akiva Machane, where Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat was sung and performed with pride and talent.
Come with me, I'll show the way. In another exercise, this group of youngsters created their own kibbutz. Washing, cooking all day long. To keep us going, we sing this song. Camps are famous for their catering facilities and culinary delights. Kashrut is strictly observed at all of the Machanot, and meals are usually accompanied by enthusiastic singing of Israeli or movement songs. After meals, cleaning of dishes and tables is taken care of by a rotor system of Toranut. Each day, four or five individuals have responsibility to ensure that hygiene and cleanliness is maintained between meals.
Those not on Torunut take the opportunity to rest and relax after lunch. Each camp has access to different facilities. Some are held in adventure centres where a variety of sports and outdoor activities can be experienced. Participants at this camp in North Wales had the opportunity to learn the skills of horse riding, archery, shooting, mountain trekking, sailing and hiking. An exciting element of the educational programme at most camps comprises a simulation game designed to familiarise the participants with a particular issue. By creating an environment in which the experience can actually be lived, such exercises are an enjoyable and effective educational media. At this machana, a programme was held designed to inform participants of the Israeli political system, political parties and electoral process. They are trying to be up again, but it seems like Tria and Haftal are fighting on the same votes, well, while Likud is taking the majority of the votes anyway. Likud is really doing quite well here. 25% of the Mahane have joined them. Fine. Thank you, members of the Marach party. Would you like to say something together? and at the last minute are still trying to convince people to vote for their parties. The crowd here is very, very enthusiastic to vote. It seems like democracy is winning here. It's big victory. Um, here we are at the Habmanim Jaw camp in the middle of Derbyshire. I'm surrounded by some of our happy comrades and uh, I'm going to go around a minute and uh, I'm going to interview them uh, because it's been a marvellous camp and I'm sure they're going to have a lot of words to say. Aren't you happy campers? Yes! Okay, um, okay what's your name? 
Mark Feld. Mark, Mark Feld, the infamous... <laughs> the uh, infamous, renowned Mark Feld. Um, Mark, what would you like to uh, say about the camp? Well, I think the camp's quite good, apart from the water wedges. <laughs> the current art is being done superbly. Um, all activities are being well attended, and there's no problems whatsoever. Camp is wonderful. Camp is wonderful, isn't it? The food has been perfect, hasn't it? <laughs> have uh, we have one? Of, we have a little. Have a little someone here. What would you like to say about the camp? It's really good, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, thanks to Ben and Kaz. It's really good. Close my eyes.